Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PS Vita emulation. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I couldn't tell you how many times I've been asked about PS Vita emulation on Android and on PC. It seems to be a pretty popular question. Unfortunately, I don't really have a popular answer for you. For Android, right now there is no PS Vita emulator. You cannot play PS Vita games on an Android device. There is an app called MUPS Vita, but I don't recommend downloading it. It won't play Vita games. It's more or less fake. Now, if you want to play Vita games on PC, you do have an option, although that option is pretty early on in development. The emulator is called Vita 3K, and I'll leave a link to this site in the description below. In Vita 3K's current state, only 2.75% of the entire Vita library is playable, and those games are listed right here. Around 12% of the library is playable with serious issue, and around 10% of the game is Playable, but not really. It's got some major issues that really prevent you from doing anything in game. And in this playable, not really list is Persona 4 Golden, which most people are probably interested in playing. Now, I will leave a link to this compatibility list in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out because there's a pretty big chance it's going to change since this video was filmed. This emulator is being worked on and there is a chance that there are breakthroughs and more games are compatible. To download Vita 3K, head to vita3k.org, click on the download button, and then download your build of choice. For this video, I'm taking a look at the Windows Nightly. If you click on it here, the file isn't very big, it's 8.8 .8 megabytes. You will also need official Vita system software. Fortunately, this is provided from PlayStation and is free, and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. This file's a little bit bigger. If I click on it here, it's a total of 128 megabytes. Once you've got everything you need downloaded, extract the Vita 3K files into its own folder, and you can also put that system software file that you downloaded from Sony as well. From here, double click on Vita 3K. When Vita 3K opens up, it should look something like this. From here, click on the close button on the bottom of this message. Then you can go on ahead and create a user. For this video, I'm just going to call it user1, which is the default name, and then I'm going to hit confirm. Now, if you get to this screen and you can't really figure out what to do next, this build that I'm looking at here, the top bar is kind of hidden a little bit. So you can click on here and it will bring up a menu. What we want to do is install our firmware, which was the file that we downloaded from PlayStation. So go on ahead and click install firmware. From here, what we have to do is locate our firmware file, which is right in the same folder where we just put it. So all we have to do is just double click it there and it should automatically install. Now, if you're worried about space, you can click delete the firmware installation file and this will free up about 128 megabytes. The next step here is to go into your settings menu, go down to your GUI menu and click download firmware font package. This download is 54.1 megabytes. Once it's done downloading, go back to install firmware here, select the file you just downloaded and install it. The next step is to configure your keyboard settings. You can go into the settings menu here and change a few things around if you want, but it's probably not going to make too much of a difference. And the settings right now are pretty limited. If you go into the keyboard settings or your keyboard controls, rather, you can map your controls. This does not support a controller just yet. You can only use keyboard. Once that's all done, go to install.zip or .vpk and from here you can play your game. If you want to learn more about Vita 3K or if you have specific questions, if you're trying to get specific games to work with it, they have a very active Discord. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and I do recommend checking it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. We really don't have a whole lot in terms of Vita emulation right now. We've got nothing on Android and on PC we have Vita 3K which is super early on in development. I don't really see any of that changing anytime soon but if there is a breakthrough or if there is any more information on Vita emulation I'll be sure to do an updated video. Let me know your thoughts on Vita 3K and the current state of Vita emulation in the comments below. If you like this video leave a like. If you didn't like this video leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.